Good evening. I'm going to show you a fun technique this evening. Nothing to it. No karate jitsu. It's just a technique we did re recently. It's a bit of fun. There's going to be two parts to this video. Okay, the standing part is going to be a little bit of kyushu. The grounded part is going to be an arm lock. Okay, so my sensei for this evening, Sensei Shaggy, is going to attack me with a forward knife hand, which those of you familiar with my videos will know that it could be a weapon or, or anything. So what I'm going to do is offline, coming to the dead side, where I've got counter options. What I'm going to do, because I'm a kickboxer as well, I'm going to kick him straight in the abdomen. My left arm is going to reach over, and I'm going to hit him in bladder 10, which might give me a knockout, or bring him towards me. What I'm then going to do is take this hand, up to triple one or 23, the temple. And as I do so, I'm going to be twisting my hips. Okay, there, to bring him down to the floor. All right, I shall show you this from a different angle, so you can see what I've done. Crucially, I've recently been training with the British Combat Association, and every aspect of that, I'm going to be thinking double hip. If you're not familiar with double hip, I'm not going to teach it to you on YouTube. Some things I keep to myself, come train with us, or another British Combat Association club. But it's all there, okay? So, <coughs> here. Waving through. Okay. For the second part of the video, I'm going to do a grounded arm lock. Okay, again, just a bit of fun. It's just a, a technique that we, we found whilst training recently. So let's go from this technique I've just done, where I come offline, kick, hit, control. Now, as he goes down, I've still got control of this arm. What I'm going to do is take my right leg over behind his head and I'm going to kneel down. Okay, right hand is going to go behind and what I'm going to do now is what you might call the showbiz technique. Ta-da! Okay, where I open up both hands and I'm driving his elbow back against my thigh. Now, were it not for this foot, if I was, say, here, he could just spin out of it. Okay, but because I've got my leg over and behind his head, he's got no option to do that. Okay, and here, I'm going to do is open up until that happens. One more time, different angle, just to finish it off. Okay, I hope that was of interest to you and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, Sensei.